Good afternoon, everybody. This is Brian Ockeltree from Partner Point. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, today's session, uh, as you can see, is uh, how to SEO your website in 30 so, uh, minutes. That's pretty much for the housekeeping. With that, I'd like to introduce Dave Foreman uh, from Interactive Limited. Uh, Dave, thanks for joining us, and I'm going to throw control over to you right now, and you can uh, you can begin the session. I'd like to thank everyone for showing up for the class. Uh, this is going to be a pretty intense 30 minutes, and I don't expect you to absorb all this information. A lot of it's just going to sink in over time, specifically in the Q&A session when we do some actual work on a site. The goals of this webinar. We want, by the time this webinar is over, I want you to be able to explain to anyone why Wikipedia is the best SEO site on the web. And I think, I'm going to be showing you a screenshot on the next screen. I think anyone probably knows intuitively, when you do searches, Wikipedia always seems to be popping up in the top search results. And we're going to, we're going to go over briefly why that is. And I think that's the best way for everyone to get a visual uh, in their mind. We're going to have you know on. by the end of this little class is what backlinks are and what anchor text is and how they affect page rank and search ranking. Thing, which is something we're going to address right here before we go on is one thing you never want to do is play games with Google. You never want to use the things I'm teaching you to sort of manipulate results or figure out, a, you know, sometimes a webmaster will say, well, I'll put a little text here down the bottom. Here's a typical search for Microsoft Dynamics. And lo and behold, Wikipedia comes up basically the number two result. Okay. Now, when we look at the Wikipedia page, these are some of the points I brought in of backlinks. Backlinks are essentially the currency of natural search. And they, they create what's called page rank. And in this little screenshot I have here is a little page rank that do not have a nofollow attribute that are just a regular link directly to your site. And the way you see this attribute is you can look in the code, or you can just do a right click and click properties. You know, when you're hovering over the link, do a right click, click properties, and you will um, phase of this um, class. We're going to look at a few specific examples. And the first one I'm going to talk about is uh, Nancy Rushes uh, from Catapult Systems. I'm here. OK, Nancy. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for volunteering. You have an excellent site. Um, and I just want to get clear from you where you are. You said you were in the middle. When you redesign the new site, these are some things you can carry over to it. But the one thing I noticed right off the bat the presenter is Dave is Foreman. He's the founder and CEO of Interactive Limited. Uh, he is the presenter for this entire series of SEO and SEM related webcasts. Uh, he's a real uh, SEO, SEM rock star. He is our vendor. He does our work at PartnerPoint and also does work for other Microsoft partners as well. He has spoken at several Microsoft. Like welcome everyone to this class. Um, I'm looking forward to showing you, everyone on the call, some important steps towards cutting your AdWord costs. Uh, while hopefully increasing your lead flow. Estimate you can save 15% by doing this. Uh, use broad keywords and broad matching judiciously. Okay, stay away from very broad keywords like CRM or accounting software. Okay, and you have to be aware, and a lot of people aren't, that there are three kinds of matching for AdWords. There's broad match, phrase match, and exact Slide match. here is uh, using keyword tools to find buyer keywords. And, and using negative keywords. Okay, I see a lot of uh, partners that I work with use keywords that, that people are using to basically just do research and kick tires with. You want to focus on the keywords that people are going to use when they're in a buying mindset. And we'll get into that uh, soon. Um, it's very important to use negative keywords to stop wasted clicks and also raise quality scores. Okay, so step four. Okay, and this is a pretty important one that I'm going to show you in a couple of examples. Disable search partners. I recommend this right off the bat. Uh, yeah, search you're partners. You're going to end up with a ton of Facebook impressions, or not Facebook, but MySpace or, uh, impressions and clicks or, or any number of other sites, you know, software sites, iPhone app sites, anything that Google thinks is relevant to, 
to a technology-related uh, keyword. You turn down your click cost or your top bid to like, you know, let's say eight or nine. Now you're turning the tables on Google. You're saying, I'm only going to pay nine bucks a click. Figure out how to show me on the screen as much as possible to get to my budget cap, which on this case is 50 bucks a okay, day. Okay, do not use radii and shapes. Use metro areas and states. And I, I learned this myself through hard experience. I, I've actually never seen it <coughs> anywhere else on the web. Do budget, automatic budget setting. Um, show more here. This is supposed to show more ads on more search queries without adding keywords. Well, Lord knows what that means. A lot of the partners I deal with look, do. You know, they're they're looking for every every bit of traffic they can from some from some specific keywords. Okay, well, run AdWords on your company name uh, and all your misspellings of your company name and your company URL. I cannot emphasize this enough. I rarely see this set up when I go into it. And then the last thing, I'm just going to go over this briefly. Now, this is not AdWords related, but it's a new protocol that was announced by Google and all the other major search engines on February 12, 2009. Um, and this is a very powerful tool for what they call canonicalization. Um, Jody's got the search partners turned on and the content uh, network turned on. So. This is a, an example where, in my opinion, she is wasting some spend the center of that, wherever it might be. Um, but it, it's better to just go state by state. OK. So the next one we will look at real quickly is, this is Ashley's from SSI, 4.1, 2.1. There's, there's plenty of traffic here as compared to other, you know, um, keywords. But if he, you know, so that shows I would definitely recommend break these things out into their own ad groups and, and you'll get some click-throughs, I guarantee it. Query 61 other unique queries, which means that for whatever reason Google is not showing you everything that they know or could know about the search queries. But, but let me, uh, this, rather than explain this, I just want to show you something that, that stands out pretty pretty uh, amazingly in this report. So this is showing the search query column is showing the actual searches. Uh, that people I want to have that be the average. So I might advise him to raise this budget to 70 or $80 a day, lower your bids, and then let the pseudo Google, Google al algorithm make it stretch into around the $60 level. So one day it'll be 50, the next day it'll be 70, but you, you give it that opportunity. By far like the cool. best. Um, I don't know. You know, I know they probably get this by spidering the web and, you know, taking a look at all this stuff. But uh, they, it just gives you a tremendous amount of information. And one thing I would caution is, um, you know, don't go nuts with this. I mean, I, I had a guy that was running a cigar site or something like that, and he he just pulled thousands and thousands of keywords and threw them all into his campaign. It was just God, completely okay. Nice. Now the problem is, you know. How well are they able to geotarget Monroe, Michigan? Probably not too well, but I w it's definitely worth running because you're going to get that extra line of text in it, and I w I w you can run a, a radius as well. Now, um, okay, so we can browse categories or, or we can describe a topic. So let's just put in um, um, accounting software. Okay, get available places. Okay, so here are all these sites that uh, Google thinks okay. are best frames. Uh, used to be a big no-no for search engines. Are they still a no-no? Yes, they are a huge no-no. Uh, I, I have not seen a site that uh, was optimized for frames. Ever. Now, if you're doing this all the time, I, I put I put all uh, these as feeds. I mean, we you can get you can subscribe to the feeds. I subscribe to SEO Moz. I subscribe to the Google AdWords blog, and that way you get all the breaking news. And there is constant breaking news in this industry. Things are changing all the time.